You are welcome to the Guru's Perspective. You are welcome to the Guru's Perspective. I want to appreciate you. I want to thank you. Today, we are taking different directions, geographical directions, geographical thought. We are changing the direction. We are changing the narrations. We are changing the narratives. And we are presenting probably different perspectives. Uh, to meet up the exigency of our time. We are traveling today to the Delta region. You call it Niger Delta region, but we shall be stopping specifically in Delta State, where problems have really increased over the last few days. I, I want to say over the last few weeks. But before any other thing, I need to pay a minute silence of respect for those soldiers that fell. Not always you have such number falling, even in war time, not to talk of when it was peace, peace talk that was the issue. So please follow me as I observe a mini silence for the fallen heroes. May the soul of all those departed in that horrible way rest in perfect peace. We need to take a critical look on the Niger data. But the temperature of interrogating the narratives as they have metamorphosed in data state between Okoma and Okoloba need to be tactically reviewed before one embarks on the navigation. Because we should not forget that we shall not be navigating into voyage of discovering at a time that everywhere is tense. Because like as I said earlier, at that point when we're observing a minute of silence for the fallen heroes, the military is not at ease. The Nigeria people within that community, they are not at ease. The police as an organization that traditionally should be forefront of peacemaking and peace navigation is not at ease. Neither people in Okoloba nor the people in Okoma that will tell you there is peace because I am not even too sure if there are people anymore in Okoma. However, justice demands that we should search for facts that are mostly missing in the narration as it is being presented for us today. Shimamada told us the dangers of one side story or one source story. And I read a book many years ago, The Evil of an on open May. If Caesar had opened that little letter dropped to him by that woman, Caesar probably would have known that Brutus was on something vital that could take his life. But his ability to wait and read that letter, he said he gave it to his Batman that hold it when we return back, which formed the basis of that book, The Evil of On. Read me. Even the little I will say here now is with a very, very grievous heart. I carry pain in my heart. I am from Niger Delta. I am from Delta State. And all these zones, they are my zones. Whatever life that is lost in Ada Koluba. Oh, Koma is a life proportionate to my own existence. Either the lieutenant caller who was slaughtered in such a heartless manner, or the two majors, or the army captain, or the last corporal, one life is not necessarily too huge than others. All of them are lives that are proportionate to my own life. So I could have been the person 
slaughtered in that place. So that is why we should look at it. Having identified this, I want to urge both the federal government who spoke through the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, giving instruction in order to the military to fish out all those who carry out those serious crime. The military, as an institution that felt so embarrassed and so dehumanized and so discapitated by the action that took place, all the community leaders of both parts of the divide the water, that little stream, is what put them asunder differently. Should come to one concrete agreement in admitting that the issue at stake that led to death of those soldiers, military officers, as one want to call them respectfully, because we are talking of a lieutenant caller. In the next promotion, he would have become a caller. Then from there, he would have become a general. Because by the time he becomes a brigadier, he would have been wearing a star general rank. Then from there to major general. Then he could become chief of army staff. Then to be promoted to lieutenant general. Or to be promoted from being a lieutenant general to become a first star general as chief of uh, uh, the, 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 the person who did the command of the first command. Uh, position. We should bear in mind that we need to search for the truth. What actually happened? Because at the absence of getting that what they happened, then we shall never, never be closer to knowing the exact thing that happened. But unfortunately, the lieutenant caller that led his people is no more alive to talk to us. But that is not to say that there are no people within that battalion or is it garrison or whatever that would do no one or two things. But one thing for sure that happened is this. It has nothing to do with land. It has nothing to do with this food. It has everything to do with resources. It has everything to do with the crude oil. It has everything to do with this Black gold it has everything to do with it. And it is not only the fault of Okwama or Koluba or the environment there, but it affects, it affects the whole country, Nigeria as a whole. So it is for that reason that I will urge that we should therefore now set aside institutions the military is a, is a very big, large institution that must be respected because you don't provoke the military anyhow. It's like playing roughly with tiger. Yes, the military must be respected. But the military must be respected within the confine of itself being an institution within the Nigeria state, not a state in the state of Nigeria. I repeat. The military is not a state within the state of Nigeria that con could con control the country, subdued the country, bring the country to submissiveness. No, 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 no. The military is a very, very important institution within the Nigeria state. There are many other institutions that hold way in the, Niger that hold way in the Nigerian institution in the Nigeria state that are very, very important from one point to another of the discussion. Let us evaluate it this way. Let us evaluate it this way. Uh, because I don't want to unnecessarily overshoot. Instead, I will pull up because I want to make this within 10 minutes. If it takes me 300 episodes to round it up, I wouldn't mind. Having defined that the military is an institution within the Nigeria state, not a state within the state, I therefore will come to fought the directives of the president, asking the military to fish out those. Because the military, Nigeria state, and Nigerians are victims, symbolized by the military as an institution. 
So the military that is a victim in this matter, because the military is involved in the matter, the military is standing as one party to the issue of conflict. So the military should therefore not be the one to hold the responsibility of investigating the matter and fishing those out. No. Why did I say no? I shall return back to let you know about it.